What is good, right? Today we're back with a brand new WWE Elite set review on the Target exclusive WWE Elite TMNT crossover series number two, Cody Rhodes, Seth Rollins, and Rey Mysterio. Now, I've been looking forward to this Cody Rhodes figure for a very long time, and this set's pretty sweet, man. And I know that I'm still missing Xavier Woods, so I do apologize for that, but I'm super hyped up. I've been waiting on this Cody Rhodes forever, and I do want to give a huge shout out to Action Figure Attack Steve Ozer for sending these figures my way and allowing me to review them. Huge shout out to Mattel and the Mattel team for making this review possible. I'm super hyped for man. Never been able to find these figures in the wild. And now today, I finally have an opportunity to see this Cody Rhodes, this Seth Rollins, and this Rey Mysterio, man. But I was impressed with Series 1. I still haven't found Xavier Woods, like I said, but damn, man. This right here, I saw these back at WrestleMania. And this figure right here is so damn cool. It's so cool. The packaging is immaculate. I love the mask that we have going on right here. The Casey Jones Cody with the hoodie. This is just so sick. I do want a few of these. I'm not going to lie to you. I want a few of these, but I'm going to take my one right here, and I'm going to run the hell into the end zone with it because this looks immaculate. I love the mask detail here. I like the cartoon and the comic strip looking stuff that we have going on. Now, they all have the same back graphics, so there's that, but on the side, you do have the slime coming out of the pipes. You got the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes there. We do have Cody Rhodes. We also have Leonardo Seth Rollins over here, which is very cool as well. Nice shot of him there. Very, just, uh, like, the coolest figures that you'll see this year, and again, I've said it in the other review. I'm not a huge TMNT guy, but by God, man, I mean, how do you not just love these figures? They look so damn cool. We also have Rey Mysterio there. He's got the Turtle Power shirt. Just very cool. I, I really want multiples of these to make fix-ups and stuff, but for today, we do have our one, and I'm excited for our one, man. So what we're going to do is crack all three out of the packaging, find out what they're all about, man. And I know we've had so many damn reviews coming at us the last week or two weeks, three weeks. I had so many figures to review. So if you guys would go check out the reviews and check out some of these videos, I'd greatly appreciate it. There's just been so many figures coming at us. And I do appreciate the support. But nonetheless, man, let's crack these figures out of the packaging, find out what they're about, see how they compare, and let's just find out what TMNT WWE Elite Series 2 is all about. So here's TMNT series number two out of the packaging. I'm liking what I'm saying here, man. I mean, I, I said it about series one, and I just felt like Mattel was deep in the bag, man. They were deep in the bag like Ja Morant. It was very sweet how much detail they packed into these figures. It's very impressive. I, I was very impressed with every single part of these figures has blown me away from the packaging detail to the figure detail to the little Easter eggs and the little things they put into each figure. It's just so fun, and I think that it's some of the best shish that Mattel's ever done. I mean, it's truly amazing. And it blows the Ghostbusters out of the water, in my opinion. The Ghostbusters elites from years ago, I think these are just objectively bad. They're just so much better, in my opinion. But who the hell am I, Brad? I'm not even a big TMNT guy. You may think to yourself, oh, well, it's just because you like TMNT. I'm really not a big TMNT guy. I got to put that out there every single time. Take a shot every single time, I guess. But nonetheless, man, we're going to dive into each figure individually, break down the accessories they come with. It's just such a fun set that I can't wait to dive into it with you. So let's shut the hell up. Let's get into it, man. Let's dive into Cody Rhodes first, and we'll work our way through to Rey Mysterio, and then we'll rank this set from worst to best, and hell, we may even rank Series 1 and Series 2 together, even though Xavier Woods is nowhere to be found. Still waiting on Xavier Woods, unfortunately. So let's get into the accessories you get with Cody Rhodes, man. I love the accessories here. You get a lot, but I am disappointed in one thing, and I'll discuss that first. This shirt that comes with the Cody Rhodes with the American Nightmare logo on it is amazing. I love it. I love the tears in and everything, but I swore to Jesus this was a hoodie. Was this not a hoodie? I could have swore this was a hoodie. It's still... A don't get me wrong, it's still completely badass. It's still completely a 10 out of 10 badass accessory that I love so much and I need 14 of them right now. But I thought this was a hoodie. It's still cool. It's a collared shirt. It's all ripped up. It's got the American Nightmare skull logo on it, which is very sweet. I love this accessory. Don't change, but I thought it was a hoodie, man. I swore it was a hoodie. What, what is happening? Am I tripping? I swear it was a hoodie. Now, another one of the best accessories is the American Nightmare mask, which is supposed to do as a hockey mask like Casey Jones, which is so cool. I've always loved Casey Jones' character design anyway, but then you kind of, you know, buying the two together was just so sick, and I love it that it's kind of similar to his WrestleMania entrance mask, which I'm sure we're going to get at some point. You know, it was the moment he won the title and everything. I get, I bet we get an Ultimate Edition with the mask and entrance coat and everything. I think it's going to be sweet, but this is so unbelievably sick. When I saw this, I almost vomited in my hand. I was watching, I was walking down the streets of Philadelphia when I saw these figures for the first time because I was moving in and out. I think it was the day of, it was either the day of night one of WrestleMania. I want to say, no, this was Friday. It was the Friday night before night one. And I was walking down the 
streets of Philly and they posted these up as an update that these were on display at the Superstore and it blew me away. I love this. This is so amazing. I love this so much. Now if you're unfamiliar with Casey Jones, he does carry around a baseball bat and a hockey stick and my bat is slightly bent right here so that's kind of unfortunate. It is like this comic green color with some sh cell shading on it which is, is fine. I low-key, I don't really prefer this bat sculpt with the wood grain in it. I'd rather have like a regular bat kind of like the AEW Jazzwares one is better to me but I don't mind this. You know, we have seen this multiple times over. It gets the job done, but it is a little warped. You may have to heat that up and then run it under cold water while holding it in place, but it is still a cool accessory to have. And then call me crazy, but I think this is the first ever hockey stick we've ever had. So this is very cool. It's got the dark green handle, and then it comes down into the light green within the dark green down here. And it's got a slight, like, lift to it, like a hockey stick, which I think is very cool. I love this, man. It, I mean, this is just so cool, and you could probably put this with other people. You may you could put it with your Chris Jerichos and stuff. There's definitely some different stuff you can do here, but I do like the hockey Hockey stick. I think this is awesome. Another added weapon accessory here that maybe they could reuse in the future. And then we have the American Nightmare weight belt that has the two holders on it. So you do wrap this around his chest and it kind of works as like a weapon belt. So then... You know, you wrap it around his chest like this, and then on the back, you can plug in the hockey stick and the bat into the back, and you can port it in there so you can carry the weapons, which I just think is so cool. Unbelievably cool. Unbelievably badass and sick. I love this accessory. I think this is awesome as well. They just, again, man, they left no stone unturned, and you got to give a tip to the cap to Mattel and everybody over there. And last but not least, you do get mic holding hands on the right. You get the white taped hand with the white peg, and then you also get fisted hands on the right hand. You have the white peg again, but you get fists to beat the hell out of people. So getting into Cody Rhodes, starting off the head sculpt, I don't dislike this head sculpt, and it's very similar to the Defining Moments. It's certainly better than the Royal Rumble one, and it's very similar. Like, look at this right here. It's not the same, though. I don't care what you say. It's very similar, but it's not the same. There's something about it that's slightly different, and it may not even be the Defining Moments. It looks looks like the Defining Moments, but at the same time, it's slightly different. This one's worse to me, though. This one has more likeness. I can't explain it, alright? So get out of my face. But going down, we do have the Dream Tattoo as well, and they still have the Neck Tattoo on the face, which hopefully will get fixed soon, but... I really like the likeness on this head sculpt. Going down on the right arm, you do have the wrist wrap. I kind of wish it was sculpted, but I'll take paint. It's not the biggest deal. Having having the painted on tape isn't the biggest deal ever, but having sculpted on paint would be kind of cool, or sculpted on tape would be cool as well, but I don't hate it because you can easily remove it with acetone or something, but going down into the tights, we do have this sort of gray, gold, and blue paneling with white, which I just think looks so good. You have the X's or the crosses in there, and then you do have the same Nightmare logo on the knee. Just a very clean aesthetic and design to the tights, which I really, really like. It's a very cool gear, regardless if it's real or not. It is pinless legs, unfortunately, and then he just has standard boots. I really want to customize this into an actual attire, and I think it'd be possible, but I'd need multiple copies of this figure. I definitely need to try my hand at it. But the legs are not as stiff as the other ones we've seen. Like, he can actually kick forward. It, don't get me wrong, it's a little stiff, but I don't find it as just absolutely egregious to pose around compared to others. They still should have never gave him pinless legs. I think that, you know, sticking with the defining moment formula. You know, his top picks figure, his Elite 101 figure, that was the way to go honestly, but I still enjoy the Cody Rhodes figure, and since I'm a big Cody Rhodes guy, I just like this. I think it looks really, really sweet, but I do want to put all of his gear on here so we can kind of see what that looks like as well. And here he is with all of his gear on. It's just so badass, man. I will say the hockey stick's a little loose right here, and it kind of drops down, and uh, I played with the belt a little bit. This seems to be the best aesthetic way to put on there that I've found. Maybe you guys like a different way, but I don't know. Not bad. Not bad. I still think it's really cool when he's holding the bat there. I just think that the hockey stick goes on there a little bit wonky. Sometimes it's a little loose, as you guys can tell, but what, what a badass. I mean, this is completely badass. Just get, get out of my face. So now we have Leonardo, Seth Rollins accessories, and you get quite a bit here. You get the katanas, or the swords, whatever you want to say. You get the stand that we've seen with a few other figures as well. Entrance vest, visor, weird glasses, things, and interchangeable hands. Now, I've been on and on about these damn swords, man. I mean, there's so much going on right here. I love the katanas. I think they're cool. They have this, like, light blue color going on. Get the details of the handle and everything. And you could probably paint these if you wanted to, but I like that they're kind of a blue color to signify Leonardo, you know. And the nunchucks for Kofi were Michelangelo, and they were orange. And then you have the blades from Raphael and Rey Mysterio that are red. I think the stick that even comes with Xavier is purple for Donnie. So I think it, it works out cool that these are blue and everything. And I like that they use the light blue for the blade that I think looks cool because it's silver. But you get two of these, which I think is really awesome. Just really cool, man. 
that. Just really, really cool. And I love that you have the Katana holder over here, which we've seen before. So it's got the blue WWE logo. You have these on here, which are removable, which we touched on but previously. You know, we did get the Knuckle Crunchers Roman Reigns thing, and now we have this, and I think they're very, very cool. So you have the stand, and it's got the blue down here. Really well executed. I think they did a great job on these. I really like this accessory. And since it is Seth Rollins, we do get the cool entrance vest. You have kind of the fake turtle shell going on. So on the back, you have this, the shell graphic and the gold, and then you have the blue belt wrapping around. Then you have the gold on the on the front for the stomach of the turtles or the chest of the turtles with the green. Very cool indeed. I think this is awesome. It is kind of crazy that his tights are kind of a lime or bright green and then the, you know, the vest itself is kind of a dark green. But I think it's really cool. Very, very sweet. I think they did a great job here for the Seth Rollins entrance vest. And then you have the glasses, which I still think are weird. I don't know why they wouldn't just do the eyes missing and have like a headband. But I don't know. I guess it gets the job done. You do have the, the tie in the back with the blue color. It's a nice blue color as well. I like this color blue kind of one of my favorite colors really so i think this looks pretty good and last but not least you do get a pair of mic holding hands with no colors or anything and then you do get a pair of the johnny gargano handshaking Kawhi leonard ricochet entrance handshaking hands next up we have the seth rollins leonardo figure and this is basically an elite 93 repaint is what this head sculpt is and everything and i don't know if you guys can tell right off the bat but my god brad they didn't put chest or stomach hair on here very egregious. Can't believe they left that out. I can't. Uh, come on. How do we leave out the chest hair and stomach hair? Honestly, kind of devalues the figure because now he's kind of like a throwback Rollins. He ain't got no chest or stomach hair on there. That kind of, it really is unfortunate for me. I don't like it. But we do have the blue wrist tape in there, which I think is cool. Maybe you could add that to a different Rollins. And I do like these tights. These tights are really cool. You do have, I like the lime green color and the blue and the black paneling. The color and flow looks really good. I like the honeycomb pattern. I do wish it had a belt or something on there, but... I will take what we can get here. He does have these large knee pads, which I don't like, and the blue color kind of looking like the cartoon knee pads of the Turtles, which I don't like either. They are way too big. I wish they were the smaller kind, but... I don't know, maybe I can find a replacement knee pad or something. And then we do have the kick pads that do have the black and gold with the green. It is very good color blocking and color palette. They did a good job on that. And I like how the gold has that sheen to it. It's got a nice metallic look to it, which I think is really sweet. I mean, it is just a repaint Rollins, but uh, it's going to have all your standard articulation. It's just the biggest thing is these damn knee pads are just terrible. I can't stand these knee pads, so I will be trying to replace those. But I hate that he doesn't have chest or stomach hair. That really bothers me a little bit. So, yeah, I don't, I don't like that, man. And I don't like that, but I don't really need to put all his gear on. We already saw what he looked like with all his gear on, but I do like this gear, though. It is very, I don't know, there's something about it that I really, really like. I think you could possibly do some fix-ups and stuff, which is what I was most excited about, so I have to kind of play around with that, see if we can do that for action figure surgery of episode 100. You know, just to see what we can come up with together, but it should be fun when we get there, man. I'm really looking forward to action figure surgery episode 100, but that is the Seth Rollins figure. The Varee Mysterio's accessory is very similar to Kofi and Seth Rollins. You get the weapons, you get some entrance gear, and you get the weapons themselves, of course, with the weapons holder. I may have said weapons like eight times, all right? But I like these. I think the sculpt is fantastic. I think people assume these are small, but they are not. But they are casted in red, similar to what we said about the katanas and the stick from Xavier, the, the nunchucks from Michelangelo and Kofi. I like these. And again, if you don't like the colors, you could probably paint them up and make them look realistic. But I low-key like that they're red to kind of symbolize, again, the character they're representing, which I think is cool. But these are very nice. And you can even fit them on the background stand that we talked about. And mentioning the background ground stand or the weapon stand or whatever it's the same deal here i think removing this and then putting championships right here is a really cool way to display it and again it does come with two rows so you can take them both out or you can keep them both in there i think that's really awesome did they not have like the sewer pipes or something am i tripping wasn't there like sewer pipes or something like connecting them or maybe i'm making that up i could have swore maybe i just assumed that they had sewer pipes connected to them or maybe it's maybe i'm thinking of the xavier woods maybe you like break the stick in half and then you have half the stick on one and half the stick on the other and that made me think that there were pipes connected i'm sure that's probably what it was i'm such a dumb clown but it's still the same as the other it's just red instead of blue or purple or orange so nice detail wood grain it's pretty cool i like these outside of that you do get the turtle power shirt here with the tmnt kind of font going on not completely i can see where they changed it slightly just to get away with it i guess but then you do have the turtle shell on the back which i think also looks good but you know it doesn't have like the lines in there and it's slightly different it's not the exact same but it's very similar but turtle power on there looks good and then the shell on the back it's the same ray mysterio entrance shirt we've seen so many times beforehand you know that muscle entrance shirt or whatever that they cut up just to make their entrance to the ring then for interchange 
interchangeable hands, you do get the gloved hands right here for fists, which I think look really, really good. The only problem is instead of giving him those wide open entrance hands we're used to seeing from him, they did give him the mic holding hands, which I know a lot of people will be excited about, but they're the traditional hand size, so they're way too big for Rey Mysterio. We've seen this in the past. I've done something like this in the past, but it'd be really nice if we could get an actual gloved small hand Rey Mysterio sculpt for this instead of having to give him regular hands that are gigantic compared to the rest of his body. And then we have probably the most underrated figure in this entire set is going to be the Rey Mysterio. I really like this head sculpt here with the, I mean, look at this. You have the blade coming down as the cross on the mask, which is, it was so cool. I love that over the eyes you have the Raphael, you know, bandana or eyes things going through there. And then you have it wrapping around the back right there, which is another added bonus, kind of like it is Raphael's headband or eye band, whatever. I don't even know what you call that. What do you call that? It's the headband, but it's also their glasses, sort of, or the piece. I don't know what you want to say there, but like the silver on the mask as well. And then you go down, you do have the, the blades coming down on the middle right there, like they're kind of tucked away, which I think is cool on his belt. And you have the silver and black stripes. Rey Mysterio graphics with the WWE logo on there. Got the turtle shell on the back of the singlet. Rey Mysterio, R of a hit. Wait a minute, is that backwards? Oh, they just have R. Oh, okay, so maybe that's for like Raphael and Rey together. So you get an R and an R. I think that's pretty genius. And I like the red color on these armbands. Looks pretty sweet. And you get the red gauntlets or wrist gauntlets here. Then you do. I did put the small hands in there, obviously, for obvious reasons. But the green color on here is very sweet as well. I just love all the little details they put into each individual figure. It's just really, really sweet. You have the red knee pads, which I wish they would have used these style knee pads on Seth Rollins, but I'll take it. They usually don't put knee pads onto Rey Mysterio figures, but I like that they use the smallest ones with the openness, and you have the little cartoony, you know, black shading in there, and then they do have the black and green boots, which are also very sweet. Just an overall badass piece of, of memorabilia right here. And because it is Rey Mysterio, you guys know he is going to pose around with the best of them. His legs are a little tight, but he's still buttery smooth for the most part in comparison to Cody and Seth Rollins. He's going to be able to do all the different things, man. I mean, I think that the Rey Mysterio is very awesome awesome and you know they've made so many damn Rey Mysterios that I know that it's not the most you know just uplifting thing ever but my god they they know how to knock out a Rey Mysterio figure and it's so compact I, I mean dude this may be I know they have there's just way too many good Rey Mysterios to say that this is the best one and we have so many Rey Mysterios that it's utterly ridiculous but I'm really enjoying this Raphael Rey Mysterio figure all right man it's time to rank this set from my least favorite to my favorite or in terms of the whole set we're gonna break down every single figure individually and in, in which I ones I like and don't like and start off with the bottom and we're gonna throw Roman Reigns and Kofi Kingston into my ranking so we can break it all down man so let's get into it man starting out at the bottom of the ranking this is actually very tough very very tough Ooh, this is tough man very close I'd say but I think I am gonna go with Kofi Kingston at the bottom the only reason Kofi Kingston comes in at the bottom is because he has the John Cena shoes that I despise so much that I've worked years to get rid of and now that it's finally ceased to exist having that on there just feels despicable I'm just kidding but seriously though no shin cut there's different things. I do like the Kofi Kingston, and I love the nunchucks, but I think I like the other four figures better. Next up was actually really, really tough, and you may be shocked to see this, but I'm going Seth Rollins as the number four figure, and the reason is, is no chest hair, and I don't like the large knee pads, and I don't know, there's something about it that doesn't, it just doesn't have as many, like, bells and whistles, I think, as other figures, I think, for me personally, so I went with Seth Rollins there, and I'm a big Seth Rollins guy, but I think that the Rey Mysterio is slightly better in terms of overall posability, details, Easter egg eggs, things like that. I like the Rey Mysterio better. I just, I don't know. I, I like the Rey Mysterio better. I really can't explain it, even though I know Seth Rollins comes with the katanas and stuff that I really like, but I don't know. I, somebody, I, I just would rather pose around the Rey Mysterio. I like the details of the Rey better, so there it is that. Coming in at number two, we have the Shredder Roman Reigns, which is the ultimate final boss. I mean, my God, man looks like a damn... I don't even know, man. He looks absolutely ridiculous. I love all the bells and whistles on there. And really, the only thing keeping him from number one is the Cody Rhodes mask and hoodie or shirt, dude. That shirt, and I love the cape and shoulder pads of the Roman and the mask, but I love this American Nightmare mask so damn much that I had to put it here. And I love the gear. And being a big Cody fan, I like the head sculpt. And I like the Roman Reigns head sculpt, too, with the, you know, the scar tattoo or whatever. But I just think that at the end of the day, this is my, this is my ranking for this set. And it was very tough. And if I had Xavier Woods, 
minutes, he'd probably be in the lower half, maybe, but I can't really, you know, I don't really feel super confident in saying that without having the figure in hand. It could blow me away in other ways, so we'll have to see about that, but this is my ranking for pretty much Series 1 and Series 2 of the Team NT line. I had a ton of fun reviewing these. I think they're so good. I think that we may see a few of these people or a few of these figures on the top 25 WWE Elites of the Year, just depending on how it all goes, of course, but it should be fun, man. I had a ton of fun reviewing this set, like I stated. I think that it's an awesome set of a Raw TMNT figure. Again, are they needed? No, but I think they are really awesome and fun for your collection. You can make cool fix-ups and stuff, so that will be up to you, of course, but I had a ton of fun reviewing this set and just kind of Posing them around and getting to know the figures in terms of the details and stuff. I just, I hope we get more crossovers like this because I think that they're really fun to see between different branding and stuff. Like, imagine, imagine like a comics crossover with WWE and having like a Spider-Man wave or a Marvel wave where you had Iron Man this and Spider-Man that or Venom this or Hulk that. Like, can you imagine something like that? I think that would be amazing. So, for the last time, I'm not a huge TMNT fan. But this crossover project was super successful, in my opinion, and I think they did a great job. But who the hell am I, Brad? Lights are too bright for me. But that is going to wrap the video. Huge shout-out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate you fellas. Thank you guys so very much for your support, as always. You guys are absolutely amazing, and I had a ton of fun here today, man. But I'm getting the hell out. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I will catch you guys later.